this secret that the world is hiding away from you will blow your mind. Stay tuned. And the Islamic warrior Saladin conquered the Crusaders and took control of Jerusalem. He entered into an agreement that, that, the, that the Muslims would protect the Christian churches. And so he appointed two Muslim families. Both of these families have been in Jerusalem for close to a thousand years. And each generation has passed down the key. The key. Right. The, the physical key. Mr. Um, Judah said that the key he presently has is 800 years old. Incredible. He had another key, but it broke. <laughs> I mean, this is a Muslim. I mean, yes. Not to be a Judah is a Muslim. And he said it's awesome. It's a great honor for a Muslim to hold the key to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is the most important church in Christendom. That's not disrespect. We, we don't hear this in America. We don't hear it because what, what we have been told is Christians, Christian Americans, you know, you, you should hate Muslims. You should kill Muslims because they're, they're going to tear down all the churches yes. and, and, and uh, you know, basically just ransack them and everything else. But here we have two families that for nearly a thousand years have actually been watching over yes. Christian churches. So who planted into our minds here in America that we should hate and kill Muslims? I think you should ask the media that who planted this idea into the American people that they should hate Muslims. Because if you look at this historical fact, it this tells you that Muslims have been protectors of Christians. You see, in Jerusalem and in many parts of the world. But now, look at what the media has portrayed about the Muslims. Specifically, what they are doing to the Muslims in Palestine, in that Jerusalem, where Muslims used to protect the Christians or the Crusaders. Now, look at what is happening. Now, Muslims are being killed. Muslims are being, are being treated so badly. Muslims are being chased out from their own homes. What is going on? What is happening? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. Those who have voice should voice out. All those who are, I mean, fighting for the freedom of our Palestinian, I mean, people, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you abundantly. And anybody who gets this video should share it and also add his voice, react to it, and I mean, share this video so that the world knows how peaceful and good the Muslim were with the Christians. And that's it for the day. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.